welcome to this video. Here you see a four-wheel combination padlock made by Master. There is no other information on this lock beside of Master, so I cannot tell you the model name or uh, the manufacturing date. But it looks like an, uh, like an older model. This lock was sent to me by Pygmy1977, so thank you very much for this lock. Um, to decode this lock, um, I had to adapt the usual pull picking method a little bit, and that's why I want to show it to you. So the usual pull picking method is to pull on the shackle and check the wheels um, and take that wheel that binds most, that gives the most resistance when turning, then you turn it and if you feel um, a give on the shackle or um, like a click on the on the wheel, um, then you're probably in the in the at the right position and you continue with with the other wheels. This method um, doesn't seem to work uh, on this lock, and um, I don't know why. I don't think that this lock has really false gates, but maybe some other kind of uh, method to prevent me from from using this method. Uh, this usual pull picking method. Maybe some uh, yeah, some changes on the wheels that gives uh, this kind of strange feedback because if you feel a free spot on a wheel it might be the, the, uh, the right position but there are other spots that uh, other numbers where it also turns turns freely. So I ended up in an infinite loop of um, changing every wheel again and again and I never managed to get it open. But there is a, uh, I found an, another slightly modified um, method that's uh, yeah that one uh, that's what I want to show you. So I open it by knowing the right combination by entering the right combination. So it's three one four one. I turn it to a ninety degree and push it down. Then I shuffle the wheels, so that's the usual way to, to change the combination. Maybe that's good enough, and just make sure that every wheel is in at one position and not in between. I close it again, shuffle the wheels, and now what you have to do is the following. You pull on the shackle and test um, one wheel by uh, turning it left and right and if the wheel doesn't move then you continue with the next number by releasing the shackle and turning the wheel. So I check the last wheel first, I pull on the shackle and 7 seems to be a <laughs> good number because the wheel turns. So I leave 7. Continue with the third wheel, there is currently three, so I pull on the shackle, three is also uh, a good number, seems like. Okay, continue with two, two doesn't, uh, so the second wheel doesn't want to turn, uh, so I release the shackle and turn it to one, same here, zero, same here, nine, same here, eight, pull on the shackle again, Seven, six, five, four, four seems to be good. So now only one remaining. Three, two, two seems to be good. But now the lock is uh, still not open, which means that we have to uh, start again from the from the beginning and improve a number because now the shackle. Um, can be pulled out a little bit more and the wheels are binding better. So uh, check again 7. 7 is still free. 3. 3 is now binding. I release tension. Go to 2. 1, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. And it's open. So that's the combination. Little trick, little um, um, yeah. change of the usual pull picking method but very effective at least on this lock. 
maybe this method can be used on other logs as well. It's just just one uh, yeah one method more in the uh, arsenal of uh, methods to to use on uh, these kind of logs. I hope you enjoyed this little um, uh, decoding session. Uh, Pick me 1977. Thanks again for the log and everybody else. Thanks for watching. Happy picking and decoding. And bye bye.